This is a sneak peek of the film outside the lines. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just need to just if you can just yeah just away. touch it here and then he goes here. Mm -hmm. Does the gun go on? Oh, no. Hey Mary, how'd they go? It went pretty well. This time I don't know yeah. my time is fighting right, scene yet, so, so I can't wait. Um. It tells about what we're post what we're doing in the film world. I, I like the movies and it's lots of fun. Film Outside the Lines isn't just like a normal group. We all treat ourselves like a family. I think being with the group is a very interesting experience. Everybody treats each other eagerly. I love the group because we get along with each other. They treat us fair. Their presence here have created a magical field which disrupts anything electrical. I'm a druid. Ooh, did I forget to mention that? Yes, yes you did. Ooh, my bad. Told you we ordered an expert. Hey, a second, I gotta get something this way. What's black and white and blue all over? I don't know what. A panda and a boxing match. <laughs> Yeah. I got two. Okay. I got two. Of okay, them. good. So this one would be um, starting here. Yeah. I think it's important to have a script to to know how to read off the other people, though. So oh. good, good way to memorize. I mean, we couldn't make it seem like it's glowing every time he's near the gym. I think they're awesome. Yeah. So, so we're getting ready to shoot the same one of James. I have to go read the script because I have yet to read the script about this scene. Because you remember what happened last time? You were cleaning the tiger's cage. Now, now, I may still need another favor someday. You wouldn't want that dark little secret of yours coming out, would you? After you did? I don't care anymore. What, what, next time I see you, what would you like to tell them? Jennifer? Filmmaking is fun. It's a lot of hard work, but I, and that's what counts. Just be yourself. We're getting ready to do take one of Amelba running. And the Dalai Lama. I, I keep telling you, this sounds fan. like a really bad joke. <laughs> the beginning of a really bad joke. <laughs> so you, need, you need pictures of yourself. Me <laughs> I, need, I need a photo of myself. Guy was walking up towards the, uh, the cockpit, and he actually was going to try to take over the cockpit. And when people realized he wasn't going to the bathroom, the soldiers got a point. It's been a long dream, come always dream. And I lay down in my room, or lay down where I used to lay my head. It always dreamed of being an actor. Hey, you hit me in the face. <laughs> you hit me in the face. 
<laughs> I think we gotta go with the face. Go. Um, my role in Film Outside the Lines is really to, uh, one, be an assistant to Christian, to help the program, um, to kind of, you know, He's right hand man, so he can concentrate on one aspect of the ones on the line, so a smaller group of adults, and then I can take another smaller group of adults and do something with them. Um, it gives me a little bit more of uh, maybe, you know, a little more instruction with a smaller crew, and so we're able to give more attention to individuals having two people rather than just one. Then we hear trucks. Yeah, it's like, oh, they work in Cuba. Coming up next on Film Outside the Lines. Look at Christian, but he's filming. A little farmhouse. Well, he probably wouldn't know. A little farmhouse probably has his card somewhere. It is? It. Yeah. Me and Mom took a, a walk outside. Oh, my monkey. Just have to watch out for all the little frogs that are bouncing around. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta watch out for that. I'm right now thinking of fights, because this is a great place to film a lot of fights. You just have to watch out for all the little frogs that are bouncing around. <laughs> yeah, we gotta watch out for that. So remember, you're getting ready for your scene now. I am. I've decided yeah, it's a little know. warm. I think I'm going to be hair yeah, up. Yeah, warm today. It did. Now that it's stopped raining finally, it's humid. Of course, there's no mirror in the middle of the woods, so the side of my car will have to do. I'm excited about it. This is a lot of fun. I get to behind the scenes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, it's just my girlfriend right here. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay, it's cut. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> Christian's camera. What interested you initially to join? Oh, just all of it. I thought it'd just be fun. Running jokers with me, Chris. Humpy Molotov. If he can get a six pack. If he can get a six pack. Well, it's not in his character because his character is the post explosion. Bomb. I don't care. <laughs> in your eye? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, no. I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah. Did it wash it out? No, I'm good. Okay. All right, we're on the search for some playing cards. All right. And a little. Can ask Christian what he's filming? A little farmhouse. Well, he probably wouldn't know. A little farmhouse probably has cards somewhere. Yeah. Let's go find him. Let's find a book or something. There's cards. There's cards. Camera. Oh, just have to turn it on first. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, um, Christian told me about the program and I thought I'd try it because I like to write and uh, do that aspect of uh, yeah, plays and so on. Mary Sarah's place, for those of you that would like to know, is in Oakley. She lives in Oakley right across from Hyde Park Plaza. Okay, it's very, very close. It's a minute from the plaza. Okay, everybody know that I took um, a workshop on yeah. the March 13th, right? Some of you uh, know Baca. That's over here, Lauren. It's very pretty. I love it is? It. Yeah. Me and Mom oh, took a, a walk outside. We're more or less done here. 
no sense over preparing for a ritual sacrifice. <laughs> kind of like on Robin. And as it turns out, we uh, and as it turns out, we have a few agents from the FBI sneaking around our woods about half a mile yonder. I'm a little concerned that I'm infamous, <laughs> but all right, sure. I thought I was one of the good guys. One of the good guys. I guess I'm the inept good guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not teleportation, it's pamping. From a case about <laughs> seeing what uh, what changes we're having, and there he is. <laughs> yeah, I was so sure. Hi. Right. So. Check. There, that's good. But with one hand, with your left hand, remember you're only using your left hand. Coming up next, I'm from outside the lines. Um, but Michelle's open to hearing what he has to say. Take a walk alone. Um, and then I'm not gonna sign up for it right now, so we can do it next week. I just, um, I like creating movies. Um, I always wanted to find out how they did create movies. That's what I like so much about this one TV show that was called Wishbone. You got to see behind the scenes of all the shooting. Now it's circling around her head. <laughs> then they start talking. Puppet one in an Australian accent. Hello. We're half step back to your water, Bob. The river. <laughs> it was Robert Goulet. <laughs> Robert Goulet. <laughs> Buy it today because I said so. I know where you live. You don't want to mess with me or see me again. Banshee though? Banshee up. In the, um, the second movie of the um, Caliber Killer, uh -huh. and, I got, 
and that second movie of Comic Con, I got blown up in the head. All right, now you did it. Ghost, you're toast. You sick psychic. Yeah, that's the one. Uh -huh. For the main characters. For the main characters. The, the Chad goes. Here what? Stop! Wrecking the whole house! Dude! <laughs> Dude! Yes? With, when I get married with, with Mary. Yes, there's a marriage involved. It's yeah. a honeymoon. <laughs> Where's her? Yeah, again. Relax. Toast your toast! Esteban, Esteban, how many fingers are holding out? Uh, orange? Stop being an ignoramus. Being an ignoramus. Was that necessary? Yes, yes it was. <laughs> it won't spray, there's a bear. What is wrong with you? It's the first blooper I ever not, get. Not. <laughs> blooper. <laughs> this will be fine for the reality show. Yeah. Oh my god. Coming up next on Film Outside the Lines. Just to see folks really... Lee, get out here at some point soon. It was great. It was very good. It was great. There was no difference between this and the movie I would see in a movie theater. Jeremy, what's you? How'd you guys enjoy the films? It was great. It was very good. It was great. There was no difference between this and the movie I would see in a movie theater. You should go to the big theaters. <laughs> Out all the films you guys saw tonight, what's your best one? I love the uh, counterfeit killer. 
Part two, right? That was yeah. uh, very good. The last was movie good. was very good. Yeah. Why you love the cop and kill too? And the story is very in-depth and it's a lot of uh, action. The action scenes are very nice. The special effects were... They said they were good. They were good. It, it, it was a twist in the middle. At first you thought it was going to be FBI and then all of a sudden there was this like, mystical element. So it kind of kept you on your toes. Uh, my name is Megan Murray and my son Thomas Murray was uh, an editor and an actor in the movies. Kids did a great job. We're really proud of all of them. Really, was very uh, entertaining, a lot of fun to watch. Again, yeah, just really, really proud of all the kids and their uh, hard work and hope they're proud of themselves and their accomplishments. Now, how do you think these adults did on the film? Oh, I think everybody did a great job from uh, from you, the cameraman, to the sound effects, to acting, editing. Uh, you know, obviously it's a collaboration of, of all those things coming together. And really, it's amazing. I was really impressed. It's the first time, uh, first year that my son's been involved in this. So, um, you know, hadn't seen it before. So really, like I said, really impressed with the program. Yeah, tell me your favorite part Well, I mean, I'm pretty biased because I'm Mary's brother, Mary Sarah's brother, so I'd have to say that the romance was my favorite. But uh, I thought the commercials were hilarious. I love the way that you combine the two themes in the Counterfeit Killers too. And um, so asking me my favorite part, that's tough. I loved it all. The Counterfeit Killer 2, do you guys like Counterfeit Killer 2 better than number one, or what do you think the difference that you see of it? He's gonna win. So um, I'm getting kind of good at this part, the uh, talking to the camera part. I'll tell you day one, it was not so easy. But look, and then I can just like eat cookies, or I can pick my nose, or whatever. Do not film. I'm on film. Doesn't matter. I'm a natural.
a copy. A copy of the DVD, and if you want a copy of the program, if you didn't get one, go ahead and get it now. Okay. All right. This goes to John Nick's Cable. Come on up. John Nick's Cable. Where are you? <laughs> okay, John News Cable gets an award for always being there, and he's the best jogger of the whole group. There's your award, John, and Christian's got to keep it on the Come this way. Uh, congratulations, Andrea Porowski, for being the best photographer. Congratulations to John Luke for the best idea. <laughs> Oh. Say after I stay away from oh, that That's good. You got good stuff for dinner? Yeah, it is. Back at the hey, buddy. Hey, just my girlfriend right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cut. And then we have a Facebook page called Come Outside the Lions. Alright, and we'll post each video.